previously on Airtime Thrills. So anyway, we are literally leaving Six Flags Mansion Mountain right now, going to Australia. I don't even know what day it's gonna be here, when I get there or whatever, but it's gonna go with the flow. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys join me in Australia and I'll see you next time. Welcome to Sydney, Australia, and you can see the downtown right there. Opera House is somewhere over there. We got a cricket court right there, which is awesome. Maybe we can catch a match. Cause I, I have no idea how to play cricket. It's gonna be amazing to see if they actually like get something going down there. Cricket, it's like baseball, but you know, backwards or it's not. So, it took about 24 hours to get from LAX to this hotel in Sydney. It was a crazy trip. Um, so far, Australia has been interesting. Um, first of all, they check your bags like way too much. Like they check your bag before you get on the plane, after you get on the plane, before you get on the next plane. It's like how many times you need to go through security. It's pretty crazy. They drive on the wrong side of the road here. And I say the wrong side, I know the left side, but even though I'm like the escalators even go up the opposite way of what you would expect, which is kind of bizarre. And the uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. They actually have, or as they call it here, Maccas. They actually have onion rings, which is like, McDonald's has onion rings? That's weird. So, yeah, we got a, we're staying at the Siebel Hotel in Chatswood, and uh, we are like gonna hit the city for three days, and then we're gonna roll on to the Gold Coast. So, I'm gonna let you guys in on what Sydney's like, and then of course, the main event here is Luna Park. All right, so welcome to day one in Australia. This is our first official day of actually doing stuff, like doing fun stuff. So, as you can see, here's downtown Sydney. Uh, over the past like 20 minutes, it's like a cloud is like settling over it. But we shouldn't get any rain today. I don't know what it's gonna look like over there, but I guess we'll find out. So, day one, Luna Park, let's go. Still trying to figure out McDonald's iced coffee here. You know, I love iced coffee. I'm a big iced coffee fan. I'm sorry, not McDonald's, Macca's. But they, this is like a latte. I didn't know they made cups this small. This is crazy. Okay, so we walk up to the ticket booths, and it says that the Wild Mouse is closed, which I kind of expected. And then also Big Dipper and Boomerang are closed. I'm like, are we really going to come here and ride the Little Nipper? Because that's stupid. But I did ask them, and they said that they would be opening maybe a little bit later, which is good. So we bought the t uh, passes, 75 Australian. A little steep, but hey, you know, once in a lifetime experience, let's do it. It's only fitting that my first ride in Australia is going to be the Little Nipper. This is a massive family coaster. Um, I'm just telling myself that so I don't get embarrassed. But if I figure if I lose my integrity now, I won't have to worry about it later. So uh, let's do it. There it is in all its glory, the Little Nipper. Shark trains and all. This is going to be awesome. Okay, so Little Nipper, a little disappointed because I did not get as much whip in the back row as I wanted to. It's a little bit too banked. I need to get rid of that bank. But first credit in the Southern Hemisphere achieved. I think next we're going to do this crazy inverting pendulum. 
because it's open and it looks awesome. Alright, so there's Big Dipper. That's where we're going next. That's pretty good. It looks a little shaky though, so I'm a little nervous. But bad news it started raining, but hopefully it goes away soon. Good news. Sledgehammer. Freaking awesome. One of the best pendulum rides I've ever been on. It goes, hangs you all the way around, spins you upside down at the top. And like that thing gets your head, but it is amazing. <laughs> This whole queue is filled with tributes to the old Big Dipper. Even the older Big Dipper from God knows when, old wooden coaster. Okay, Big Dipper got a back row ride and I heard that it might be a little bit rough and shaky, and it was, especially around the, 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 you know, the inversions in the beginning. But I thought the launches were good, strengths were great, good pop of ejector airtime coming out of that, uh, that inversion thing. And then, um, yeah, it's kind of a short ride, but you know, for a park like this, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I, th I was impressed. That actually exceeded my expectations. I didn't think it was going to be that good. So, got to come back and do that again later. <laughs> So I knew I was not going to be able to ride the Wild Mouse coaster on this trip because they were restoring it. What I wasn't expecting is for it to be completely missing from the park. So apparently that was the entrance. Uh, there was like where the station was. And you can see it's just, it's gone. Like they took it down and they're going to rebuild it later this year. So I would like to at least see it, but you know, yeah, so there it is. You can imagine what it would look like right there. Alright, we just got off Boomerang, or Rewind Racers as we would call it in the States. You wanna go ride re, re uh. You wanna go ride rewind? Do you wanna go ride rewind? How come I can't say that? Do you wanna go ride rewind racers? Yes! Uh, that was, you know, it was all right. And we were the, near the back. Uh, going forward, pretty good. Going backwards, that was pretty cool. Um, the whole time your gut was like in your throat. So I uh, probably won't do that again. We do definitely need to get another ride on uh, that thing. Cause that thing was best friend in the park, especially as the wild mouse is like, you know, disappeared. Well, we just did Hair Razor, a Larson drop tower, and it was everything I thought it would be and more. You don't know when it's going to drop you. You can kind of hear the motor slow down a little bit when you hit the top. Kind of give you a little bit of a clue. But man, you are floating the entire way down. It's just like... Those things are cheap and they're janky, but why are they so much better than other drop towers? I don't know. Okay, so in Europe, we got used to going into fun houses. So let's check this one out. Coney Island in Australia. Who knew? Yeah, this looks like it's from 1950, which is before the Wild Mouse came in here. You can see here's the entrance of the park. Like here's where we are right here at Coney Island. Here's where all the new coasters are. And here's the old Big Dipper, which is actually located, it looks like where the new Big Dipper is located, right next to this ridge. So there you go. Luna Park, circa 1950. Why do we keep having to walk into people's mouths? I'm kind of tired of being eaten at this park. Unlike other fun houses, that one doesn't actually make you go through everything. You just kind of enter the building, 
and then you have at it. You want to go down, down the slide? You can. You want to go on the crazy spinning thing or the rotor or the hall of mirrors? Have at it. But it doesn't make you, which is kind of nice. We haven't really waited in any lines today. But this line for the Ferris wheel is quite large, but it's worth it. So I found if you walk up these stairs here, big old staircase, you get an awesome view of Big Dipper in the city. You know, little things you find. The wooden Big Dipper. This park's just chock full of history, and they have they kind of like honor their history all over the place. This these lap bars though, just remind me of Coaster at Playland. I heard they changed them a little bit, but those who remember, they know, they know what it was like. Right, so the Big Dipper, we're in a second time in the rain. Of course, it was supposed to rain today, but of course because I'm here, it had to rain. Um, it's a really like. It was more intense than I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, that rattle is pretty real. And it doesn't ruin the ride or anything, but it's just kind of like, why does it do that? You know, it's a brand new ride. So anyway, Wild Mouse, I think we're going to have to skip that today. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow, see if it's open. Um, it's not built yet, so um, my hopes aren't high, but you never know. Miracles happen. In the meantime, we got Pepsi Freezes. We are going to head out. Been there for about three and a half hours. I'm gonna see what else Australia has to offer, so let's check it out. When you're in Australia, you gotta do what Australians do, and that's eat at Hungry Jack's, which is what they call Burger King. If you don't believe me, it is truly home of the Whopper. So, that's proof. Well, here it is, one of the most iconic buildings in the world, the Sydney Opera House. Now I can say, right here, I've now touched the Sydney Opera House. My DNA is all over it, so. I should sign it right here. They'd probably kick me out of Australia if I did that, but yeah, it's worth it. And just like that, we're back at Luna Park. The cool thing about this place is that if you get a wristband, then you get to kind of just pop in and out of the park anytime you want. So we've been gone for a little over two hours. Let's go back inside and get some more rides. Okay, so we were gone actually for four hours, not two. I don't know, I'm, I'm losing my mind here. But it looks like the Wild Mouse is still not constructed it's from the time that we were gone, so it's not looking good. What are you gonna do? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready.
Okay, so we got one more ride on Big Dipper, front row this time. That was really awesome. Uh, much smoother up there, very forceful. It was really cool to see the track right in front of you. And then we got another ride on Hair Razor, which, you know, had to. It's Larson Drop Tower, it's a big rush. So we're headed out of here, got gelato, uh, chocolate mint, it's pretty amazing. All right, so we're out of here for now. Uh, we're gonna explore some more city tomorrow, so um, let's put together a montage, three, two, one. We are here on the big bus Sydney and uh, today we are officially unashamed tourists, so sorry Sydney. Alright, so I found Taco Bell, and that's a good fitting way to end my time here in Sydney. So, heading to the Gold Coast, three more parks, plus a cricket match. So, I uh, hope you join me then. See you next time. Kind of an outside thought that once we got here, we'd actually be standing like upside down off the earth. But I can confirm that, no, I am right side up. Everything here looks normal. Thank you.